Hey, 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 it's Michelle here. It's still 2 2023 just to let you know. Uh, it's a little bit past 1 p.m. And, uh, you know. Oh, so let me just tell you about the area that I live in, this particular county I live in. Now, this particular county has had the reputation for years that it's KKK country. Okay, for years. It's had that reputation as KKK country. As a matter of fact, you see... Uh, certain symbols all around this this county that uh, illustrate that point. Okay, yeah, people and and like I said, all most of law enforcement, I would say either eighty percent are KKK members or white supremacy. Okay, so and 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 that's no that shouldn't be a, no surprise to any of us, right? Especially if you allow nepotism. Because all that does is keep the good old boy network going, actually. But I caution, again, everyone blaming police officers, however, for, you know, I mean, most of those KKK members are in those uh, pyramid, the high pyramid positions. Okay, no matter what they say when they come on the news, you know, when they're doing news conferences or whatever. They're very good. I mean, they're, they're, they're sociopaths, psychopaths. So they can morph into... This good old guy, you know, this good dude that's down with you, you know, and, um, and um, you know, and I'm telling you, uh, you young rappers, you need to pay attention. That's all I've got to say. Young black hip hop artists, black and Spanish, you just need to pay attention, okay? Know who's around you and, and make sure you know uh, what you're dealing with. So I just want to put that out. But anyway, um, yeah, I knew this was KKK country. I knew it, and it's been that way, you know, well, it's all, all, all of it is in some, all, in most rural areas, especially of uh, a particular area, you know, of the state, of anywhere, there's, you know, if, if it's a rural area, chances are, you know, that's where it is. As a matter of fact, when um, uh, my family, when my family lives, that's all it is, you know, KKK or white supremacy. But, you know, my parents were able to, um, uh, my dad first saw my mom, even though they knew each other. My dad saw my mom in that particular area of, of the world. And then they kind of met together, you know, like, I don't know, 10, 15 years later. So, so my, my, my point is, is that, you know, you just have to make the best of a situation. Sometimes it's a good, bad, and ugly. You have to neutralize it. Um, and I told you why I was a first responder. We had this major, major, major uh, construction project going on. Major. I mean, good. Ooh. But, but, and I knew most of those construction guys were KKK or white supremacy. Okay, and even the uh, record services, the tow truck drivers. Yeah. Yeah, they are. But at the same time, like I said, I still protected all of them. Okay, none of them on those, that construction site, that major billion dollar construction site, will say that, I mean, all of them went home safe on my watch. I don't care who they were. They went home to their families when I was on the watch. And they knew it. The foremans knew it. Okay. Um, even though um, I received a lot of um, pushback from certain uh, uh, people in law enforcement because I was enforcing safety for those guys on the construction site. I got in trouble for that, believe it or not. So, so that's why I can sleep at night, you know, sometimes, sometimes it is hard to sleep, you know, cause I got out of that field and I, like I said, I had to heal myself. So this, instead of this being a retirement house, this turned out to be a, re a recovery house actually, you know, because there is a lot of land out here, but it's all disappearing, unfortunately, cause they're building and building and building and tearing down trees. And I said that in a previous video, you know, uh, nothing's permanent anymore, you know, nothing's permanent anymore. And, um, and there's so much going on, the backstory, you just don't know the backstory of things. That's why you have to be so, you know, you have to be really careful about who you are putting in office and, uh, thinking they support you and, and that they have your best interests. And then you also have to be suspicious of these large corporate people, you know, involving themselves in politics. Okay. And then, and that's why I get all upset because if we have kept people's voting situation and who they voted for private it wouldn't this I, I think it would have lessened a lot of people being hurt and killed 
Okay, that's their business. Whoever, whatever a per person's party affiliation should be their personal business. We don't need to be concerned about that. Okay, we're putting these people's lives in danger by having all of their voter registration information online. Their, their name, address, and their affiliation. Why the fuck is that online? Where anybody can be accessible to it. Uh, you're putting these people's lives in danger with that kind of bullshit. And that's what I say. It should be private anyway. Why the hell is, you know, and everybody's worried about what people are doing. That's another thing about how we are paying attention to the wrong shit. You know, worrying about what people are doing in their personal space. Who someone votes for, who their party affiliation, all that stuff should be private. And nobody's concerned. We don't need to be ro robocalling these people at all. And bothering them. And usually they're elderly. You know, my parents were harassed all the time with these robocalls. Constant, constant. Well, because their phone number is online. Their name is online. Their party affiliation and everything else about them is there. So, don't be delusional. Okay, we're putting people's lives in danger with these sociopaths, psychopaths, narcissistic cowards. All right, they have other people doing their dirty deeds for them. All right, I put my name out all over the place because I'm, look, I'm not doing anything wrong to anyone. I, like I said, I protect and serve everyone when I was in, in, the, in a uniform, okay? And it didn't require me to be compromised, submissive, and subservient. All this yes, sir, no, sir bullshit. I think, you should, I think people of color should stop their kids from saying that. That's not necessary. Yes or no is fine. Okay? All right, that military is as well. Military is, has always been KKK, white supremacy. Why is that surprising to people? But yet, we've, a lot of us have been able to make careers out of that. You, you have to. You have to just move forward and do the best you can to provide for yourself. All right? Uh, again, if our land wasn't stolen, this wouldn't be an issue as well. But we got, like I said, my dad had to hustle. All right, just to make ends meet. And he spent a lot of time in a ruined house. And you have these bastards using this pyramid spin, uh, scheme saying that they're hustling. You don't, you, ain't, you don't know the fuck about hustling. So, you know, you, you just got to be, you just got to be, you know, we got to think differently and protect people, especially the elderly. They're the ones that are always targeted. You know, because their shit is all over, all online. You know, their age and, and sometimes they even fucking birthday. Why the fuck would that be online? And these people don't even know that. So, like I said, I knew this was KKK land. I knew this was white supremacy land. But I knew this, this house had potential for me to heal. Now, like I said, I thought it was going to be a retirement house, but no. I made that decision that it is not. It's not. It's not I mean, you know, I'm not ready to retire. So I need to do something else, you know. Um, but it's given me so much about how to take care of land because I've never had an opportunity uh, during my life because I always stayed in condos to touch the dirt, to plant. And, you know, that was that was great therapy, you know, and get in touch with nature and nature responding back and in appreciation. Now, what what's going to happen to these bamboos? Because like I said, the bamboos, are going to be the tallest structure here to protect the birds. These birds will not have anywhere to go otherwise. Because if they're too low to the ground, they're going to be accessible to being attacked by cats. All right? And cats need to do what they need to do. Cats also balance the neighborhood. You need to have cats outdoors balancing the neighborhood and getting get into the rats and mice. Okay? So I knew what I was getting myself into. But I did have a lot of peaceful nights here, and I, and I continue to. A lot of peaceful nights, ability to sleep and be at peace, because I, cause I, um, I'm protected by truth. Again, cause and effect. You reap what you've sown, okay? And those of you that are following these motherfuckers, these cowards, you're part of it. All right, you're part of it. And you have every opportunity to get your ass out of it. You've always had. But you're, but you're manipulated. You're brainwashed. You're used. And as soon as the, these, these cowards are done with you, 
you're disposable. And then you're left to your, you know, and you're the ones, that, and that's part why they're so upset now. Because a lot of those people, they're, they're, their property is still on the water. Okay? Let that be clear. So, and, and so people get mad at me and try to target me. That's fine. I knew it was going to happen. Probably target some of my family members. I knew that was going to happen. But again, I know who I am. I know what I am. And I know why I am. Okay? And so once those things are, are known, you got to move forward. You know? If somebody wants to blow your head off, they're going to blow your head off. All right? Somebody wants to poison you, they're going to poison you. Okay? If somebody wants to push their ex-wife down the f a flight of stairs, they will. Okay? If somebody wants to rape, your, rape their daughters, rape their grandchildren, rape other people's wives and children possibly, then you know, who, who the hell am I? Who the hell are you? And that's the big question. So, again, I knew what I was getting myself into. And, um, but I understand the process of life. You know, I understand that, you know, you can't win them all. All right? That's why, and that's why I said, and I also said in one of the videos, uh, uh, you know, whether somebody's left or right, what does that matter? Why do we keep dividing people like that anyway? Whether they're left or right. You know, when you go in office, you support everybody. Okay? That's what I did. I didn't just not, I protect all neighborhoods when I was there. I mean, in first responder. You know, when I say protect, I I did everything I can to, to make sure stuff was enforced. I didn't care where I was. I didn't care what was said to me. I wasn't, I didn't care what I was called. I did what I had to do. Okay. I thought about my parents. Because I remember when I moved in with them for a while after they got sick, they were having some issues in their neighborhood. And I started calling it in, calling it in, and it finally got resolved. So sometimes that's what it takes, okay? But I'm not bagging down. You know, I'm not doing anything wrong. I am helping and serving human beings. Now, whether they want to focus on their color or not, that's on them, okay? But again, I am pr protecting people of color because we always get blamed for stuff. We're always to blame. We're always to blame. And that's bullshit, okay? A lot of these people of color have uh, been misidentified, I can guarantee you. And it doesn't matter if they got, uh, I don't care what kind of surveillance they have. A lot of these people have been misidentified and being targeted for no reason. And it's always mistaken identity. Okay, and then black women are always targeted as well because they're trying to get to somebody else through black women. All right, so I said it. And, you know, and I know my voice is heard. And it's time for those nefarious people or following these cowards. You know, you better protect your family, okay? Because, uh, like I said, you can't eliminate us. You know, you can, but we're the carriers. All right? But what you're doing is eliminating yourself. Each time you eliminate us, you eliminate yourself. Okay? So that's just, that's just science. And that's just what's been held in secret from you, okay? And I think it started with the queen, to be honest with you. You know, keeping all these secrets from people and not being honest and, and, and sharing, you know, why, 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 is, why certain people can only be in a certain family. And you know what, that's fine. If that's, if that's what you want, you should be able to have whoever you want in your goddamn family. But be clear and honest about that it was a secret nefarious uh, uh, endeavor. And like I said, evil is patient. All right? So I appreciate everybody listening. Uh, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. All right? I, I'm not doing anything for popularity. I don't want any attention. But I was, I, was just, I was just so disheartened because I know there's a lot of people that love their, their life. They love their family. They love this country. Okay? They love themselves, okay? They love the darkness, you know, walking, walking in their own neighborhood at night and not worrying about somebody, you know, uh, uh, initiating stuff and starting stuff, okay? All this 
You know, and I can guarantee a lot of all this drive-by was something that was perp perpetrated and intentional. You know, just get people riled up. E everybody can easily be manipulated, sadly. I can be manipulated if they use the right type of um, techniques and, and such. Uh, medication. All right. So it's time for us to wake up. All right, and stop thinking somebody's going to rescue us and thinking that somebody cares about us. Nobody gives a fuck about, they don't even care about their own family. Okay, these people that are doing this, they don't care about their own family. They'll massacre their family in no time for, for, for the smallest things. Okay, so we have to make a decision. Okay, and, 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 and do we protect, are, are we protecting people or just worried about our own career and our own individuality? That's something. That's why I said, you know, hey, as long as my, I knew once my parents were, because my parents were elderly and sick, and I didn't want them to be targets. So that once they were uh, late, uh, safe and sound, okay, and I told my other families, all that I know, you know, to do what you got to do to protect yourself. But sometimes you just, it's that, it, that's where they get you with the overwhelm. They get you so overwhelmed, so worked up, and you're blind, and you don't realize you're being used. Again, critical, critical race theory was bullshit. It was fraud. But when it was perpetrated, it, it was determined that nobody's reading. Nobody knew what, what, nobody knew what was it. Didn't, no one knew what their children were being taught. And that's why I was able to be uh, exposed. And, 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 um, and, so, and I saw, uh, I saw a, a post by someone very famous and said that he, the news is... Um, uh, bias, or I guess I can't remember his terms, be towards the white and Asian. And that's true. That's true. It's all propaganda. It's all political. It's using people for their own political gain. Okay? Jim Jones. Jim Crow. These, these medical experiments. Fucking with our blood. Fucking with our cells. Fucking with our medication, causing people to go off or just no one know that they know has me mental illness just to go off for no damn reason. Well, there's always a reason. There, there's no such thing as coincidence. It's always a cause and effect. All right, so I put that out there. Take it as you you could take it as a as a movie plot. You can take it as a book deal, a book idea. You know, because the people in the, these former agents back in the day, they were stealing shit anyway. So go ahead and steal this. Steal what I'm saying now and make something of it. I dare you. To everyone else, I send peace and love. And, um, you know, this had to be said.